All right. We are back with some more Ace Attorney Justice for All. And uh, if you missed the last stream, you missed quite a bit. Quite a big number. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think we are in the case, the trial of the, f uh, the second case. And we are stuck. Franziska von Kammer is the prosecutor. She's whipping us hard, like both physically and metaphorically. <laughs> We're on the back foot. And our assistant, Pearl, you know, the little girl, is not so little anymore because Mia is a menace and she wants to wreck every single person she inhabits because that's how she is. And I guess let's go. <laughs> I guess I made it just in time, wouldn't you say? Y you? But, but Pearl, <laughs> her clothes are a bit small. Anyway, what are you waiting for, Phoenix? Let's go. B but how? She's already taken away every advantage. I like how Phoenix is like, yeah, you know, let, let's let's move on, shall we? The advantage is still in your hand. Think carefully. One more time about what you saw in the channeling chamber. Do you remember what you told me yesterday? Okay, I'm not going to skip this because I don't remember. <laughs> Okay, they took... Oh, yeah, is it the two photos? The two photos. I was murdered. What? Two photos. We only saw one photo. The, the conservation of mass and energy is screaming right now. Like, it's got to hurt Pearl, doesn't it? <laughs> like, like, the pain Mia is causing Maya and Pearl when she does this. <laughs> oh, boy. Snapping up shots. I think the game's audio is a bit loud, maybe just me. Is it a bit loud, chat? Is it a bit loud? I can lower it a little bit. Maybe I have to talk a little bit louder into the mic and then it's like, you know, balanced out. I could do that. All right, let's see. Let's whisper into the mic. You see, there is still one final piece to this puzzle. Mia? Question Lotto one more time, Phoenix. I don't know if she's doing it unconsciously or on purpose, but... She's not testifying truthfully. Now then, this court would like to end the cross-examination period. Please wait, your honor. The defense would like to request that the witness testify one more time. Over- <laughs> Wow. Overruled. I'm afraid you're too late, Mr. Wright. The cross-examination has already ended. Furthermore, any un- And it's- it's fine, I'll allow another testimony. I forgot her voice, kinda. It's like, stuck up, I think. Avon Karma's case is perfect, absolutely flawless. And what better time for than this for you to see that? That's gonna be a downfall, eh? <laughs> you know, you had the win. But, 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 I mean, I have some place I must go after this. Uh, all right, I'll allow it. Damn, he's lunched the uh, reservations, gone. Well, heck, what am I supposed to talk about? Please tell us one more time what happened when you burst into the channeling chamber. Okay, you got it. I think it is, uh, yeah, the two photo thing. Well, actually, it was Von Karma's whip that got through to him. Yeah, I don't think that's allowed in a real court. Is she the daughter of Von Karma? Yes, yes, she is. So she's Manfred Von Karma's daughter. So you gotta wonder who the wife is. <laughs> we broke uh, into that room. All I could focus on was Maya. I was uh, kind of scared of the dead body, so I didn't take a good look at it. I'm really bad when it comes to blood and ghosts and stuff. But I still managed to point my camera at Maya and take my shot. Okay, we didn't see that. Wait. Some part of a testimony were vague. Okay, we gotta press. We gotta press. How many does she reappear, Lotta? Um, I think she appears in... I know she appears in one other game. I don't know, remember, she appears in the third game. She, appear, she appears in Investigations uh, 2. And 1, actually. Wait, maybe. Well, amuse me with your useless questions, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I'm waiting. Alright, press, press, press. Press, please, Lotta, please work with me. 
Okay. I press everything. I'll press it. I'll press everything. What did she look like? You know, she looked almost like a different person. Uh-huh. Uh, a different person? She may have seemed like a different person. However, she was still Maya Faye. I like how they just, they just accepted, you know, spirit channeling as a thing. We already have made that point abundantly clear. Yes, that is true. Well then, Miss Hunt, did you happen to see anything else? I was uh, kind of scared of the dead body. Whoops. All right. Whoops. Whoops. Then perhaps the body was not Dr. Gray's at all. Uh, well, I reckon that's possible. Objection. If the body inside the room was not of that uh, Dr. Gray, then whose body was it, Mr. Phoenix, right? I mean, wouldn't the autopsy report, uh, like, fix that? What if it was, uh, Maya Faye after the channeling? Or maybe... Ow! Foolish fool spouting foolish foolishness, just as I expected of a foolish fool such as you. If that were the case, then wouldn't that mean Maya Faye is in fact dead? And that would make the defendant's chair quite a lonely place, wouldn't it? Uh, sorry Maya. How you doing, Rena? We, uh, yeah, we just started, we just started. Are you all done here? Can I continue? I think it's the last statement that's going to be the important stuff. Oh yeah, is anyone here like, do you believe in ghosts? Speaking of like, they're saying, I'm scared of ghosts. Do you believe in ghost chat? Do you actually do? That's why I'm getting out of this here business. This gal's going to get some dirt on the stars and be a tabloid photographer from now on. She goes through jobs faster than a baby through diapers. <laughs> what? <laughs> Mr. Phoenix, right? Would it kill you to stay on topic for a change? Well, would it, Mr. Phoenix, <laughs> Mr. Wright? Nice. Tag teamed in stereo. Guess I should be grateful it's not. <laughs> Whoa. Phoenix is like stereo 5.1. What about the 7.1, uh, you know, surround with the boombox? Come on, Phoenix. You gotta get, keep up with the times. Do you think he has like a really epic home theater system at home? Me? Of course you do, ghost. Of course you do. Oh god, my eye. How you doing, uh, video gamer? Your doppelganger gamer videos here as well. <laughs> Anything big happen? No, we just started. We just started. Just started. I'm un unsure of ghosts, but you can't deny the possibility. I think that's my stance on it. It's like, I'll believe it if I see it. I'll believe it. I believe it when I hear noises at night. I hear a lot of noises at night. I am a very paranoid <laughs> sleeper. <laughs> Alright, I think this should be the right one. Also, look at our health. I didn't realize our health was that low. Two what? Two shots. Two shots, you know? <laughs> you took two shots that night. You got really drunk. But only one has been submitted as evidence. I'm the doppelganger? No, no, wait. Maybe you're the original, and Video Gamer is the doppelganger. <laughs> Miss Hard, where is the other picture you've been withholding? Man, Francisca's smushed face really looks bad <laughs> in that view. You got it all wrong, it's not me. I, I didn't mean anything bad. I know I can be a little mean, but I ain't evil. Well, at least she knows herself. Then why have you not shown the other picture to the court yet? Well, ain't it obvious? The prosecutor woman told me to shut my trap about it. What? <laughs> Von Karma? She's gonna get what karma? My bedroom door opened and no one was there. Oh no, that's actually- that's a ghost, Rena. I'm sure- you gotta get like Ghostbusters there. <laughs> Only two, what a lightweight. I mean, two shots is kind of like a lot, a lot. Hey, you doing dyslexic? Ah, uh, maybe watch the streams in my channel. <laughs> I'm not too sure. Hey, you doing dyslexic? Unforgivable Von Karma, withholding evidence. Suppose suppressing evidence like this, you're as bad as your father. Confront. Your Honor, the defense asked pros Prosecutor Van Karma to be held in contempt of the court. Well, me in contempt of the court. 
You can't be serious. But you hid evidence from the court on purpose. That That's... That's not fair. <laughs> Phoenix, are you a lawyer or a school child? I mean... Technically, aren't you? <laughs> I was so angry, I lost my composure. Miss Von Karma, would you care to explain yourself to the court? I thought this picture was not important and thus felt no need to submit it. That's all. How could you think? The picture was not more or less the same, so why bother with a second? I mean, it's just as much, uh, it's just so much more trouble than it's worth to submit it as evidence, you know, all the paperwork and stuff like that. I'm guessing there is like paperwork you gotta fill out. Every evi evidence has to have like paperwork. More trouble than it's worth? How can you say that? If you wanna see it that badly, I'll submit it. Alright, let's take a look at these photo. Well, you know how your eyes are drawn to center frame? <laughs> that doesn't look like Maya at all. I know. Shocking, isn't it? <laughs> what, what, what is this picture? It's obviously the second picture the weakness took on the day of the scene of the crime. Well, it's a little off center. I mean, <laughs> but that's what you get with a nervous amateur. Um, I think the important point here is the person in the picture. This is most definitely not Maya Faye. I'm glad he noticed. I'm glad he did. Good to know. Good to know. What does the first picture look like? Uh, let's see. It was... No, where is it? Ah, wait. This was the first picture, so you couldn't really see a face. And I, can, I already know the contradiction. I, I remember, like, the contradiction here. Can you solve it, Chad? Can you solve it? This might be the break I was looking for. Now, should I uh, insist that the picture is not Maya? Insist it's not Maya. Your Honor, as you can plainly see, the person is not Maya Faye. Yeah, yes, I see that. It's not a face, the whole body has taken a different appearance. Wait, how, how does the judge know that? There is only one conclusion that can be drawn here. That somehow this other person snuck in and traded places with the defendant. <laughs> what is this Blue's Clues? You know, they were actually hiring for like the Blue's Clues new uh, presenter. And I remember everyone on Twitter was like, oh, like, like they want to say, oh, I can do it. I can do it. Order, order, order. Well, yes, I believe you are correct, Mr. Wright. The person who was inside the channeling chamber was not Maya Faye. Mia, we did it! You're too soft. Uh, you know what I... Uh, anyway, anyway. <laughs> God. This case, though. Huh? You're, you're softer than Aunt Morgan's strawberry desserts, Phoenix. Take a look at Prosecutor Von Karma's face. <laughs> she's like... She's just doing that ah uh, ah uh, uh. Anyone here watch uh, Jurassic Park? When, uh... I forget his name, but he's like the ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. Uh, 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 <laughs> they're trying to hack in. I think you had better wor continue to worry, Mr. Phoenix, right? Miss Von Karma, what do you mean by that? Your Honor, I would like for you to take a look at this picture. Wait, who took this picture? Wait, who was sitting... Wait a minute. This was taken yesterday at the detention's uh, visitor's room. This is Mr. Phoenix Wright and the defendant, Maya Faye, during his visit. Maya Faye? But isn't this a totally different person? Quick, uh, Mia, quick, evacuate Pearl. This looks, she looks this way because she's obviously in the middle of spirit, uh, channeling a spirit. Quick, Maya. Use the escape button and get out of Pearl. There was a mouse with a camera in the room. How is Pearl's dress cover me? Yeah, she mentions that it's a bit uh, short, I think. I'm not sure they have a leg to stand on with Pearl looking like, yeah, I know, like, <laughs> quick, me escape. 
Yet, it is the truth. When Maya Faye is in this state, she physically changes into the person she's calling. Oh, what the heck is this? Miss Von Karma, a word if I may. Can you see this face here? Mia? Toy taking pictures of someone doing a private visit is illegal. Surely you know the picture can't be submitted as evidence, but you know, you swayed the court, you know? See, that's the thing with these Ace Attorney cases compared to the real world. In the real world, you have a jury, and the defense, and I know from watching, like, you know, like, you know, reality trials, like, who had to get away with murder, they can show this evidence and it won't be admitted as evidence, but you have influenced the jury in your mind. They can't forget it, but, like, Technically, it's not submitted as evidence. But here, there's no jury. So, I don't know. Obviously, I know this picture is illegal. So... Did Francisca sneak into the room and, like, crouch on the ground taking the photo? <laughs> or did... Like... Like, what are the other options? How did she get this photo? This part is pretty goofy if we ignore it. Spirit channeling is real and Maya becomes... Uh, uh, yeah. If, if Francisca is saying spirit channeling someone else inhabits the body, that means Maya is not guilty. Wouldn't that make sense? Yeah, yeah, I know. Ace of 24 has the whole uh, Dark Age of the Law jury system thing. Yeah, like, like, why is it a low angle? If it was a high angle, I would, you know, think security camera. Did she set up like a tripod or something? Or did she actually like sneak in? She's in the corner, like, you know, taking photos. <laughs> oh God, I, I, I feel like like someone has to make fan art of that. Like she's like in the corner, just crouching, <laughs> like taking a photo. What, what is she? From the moment I showed this picture to the court, the case became all mine. After, like, she, like, Mia should see, friend. Like, I don't know. That, that, it doesn't make any sense. This image has uh, now been forever burnt into the judge. There we go. That's what I was saying. So now the judge will be biased to this uh, image kind of thing. I don't have a single witty lie. <laughs> when the writers run out of things to uh, write. It looks like we've been had. I don't claim to understand this and I still cannot believe it. Are you saying that this person, this is the defendant, Maya Fey? If I give up here, the trial will end. But I better save because we have low health also. Yep, we better save. Is there any way I can prove it's not Maya? Yes. Yes, you can. Oh, yes, I can. She has a blanket in the corner. <laughs> She has like a blanket draped over like a tripod and she's like taking and that's a high quality photo That's not like a you know a go like a GoPro is a pretty good. It's not like a spy camera. It's like an actual Canon, you know DSLR camera <laughs> Oh god, I feel like drawing that uh like like image like of her just in the corner taking a picture of that This picture Within this picture lies a critical contradiction to the testimony up till now a contradiction? Oh no, we're losing two bars! So, you think you've spotted a problem with this picture? Then earn your keep! Why don't you point out exactly where it is? And somewhere over here. To the sleeve? But, there isn't anything odd about it! And that is exactly what's so odd! Something that should be here is suddenly missing. Should be there? Oh no! <laughs> there was a bullet hole in the sleeve of the defendant's costume. If that's the case, then it should be in this picture as well. Oh yeah, 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 I agree, I agree. Miss Von Garma, you! You intended to hide this valuable piece of evidence? You will most certainly be assigned a penalty for this. All right, now she lost some health bar, yes. Don't celebrate yet. You like to bring down the mood, don't you? Take a look at Miss Von Karma's face. 
Ah, she has this condescending grin plastered all over her face again. Tisk tisk, jumping the gun again, I see, Your Honor. I would like to extend an apology on behalf of those incompetent fools. What do you mean? What incompetent fool? If those fools at the precinct hadn't missed the bullet hole, I would have gotten a report about it. As I didn't, I could not have uh, known this picture was any value. Hmm, I see. She's lying through her teeth, I know it. That woman knew about everything, the bullet hole, the picture, everything. But you can't prove that. Who cares? We, we got the picture, like, in court. Who cares? Francisco von Karma's idea of a perfect case is quite fascinating, don't you think? I think that's why Ace Attorney does so well. It has, like, fan service for both. For every kind of taste, it has a fan. <laughs> it, it pleases every kind of fan, let's say that. If you must assign a penalty, I'll personally make sure the detective gets what's coming. You know, um, there was one, uh, Ace Attorney, like, I saw someone did a poll on Ace Attorney, and it was like, what do you want from this year from Ace Attorney? And it was like, you know, Ace Attorney 7, um, the trilogy 456 remake, uh, like, an Apollo Justice anime adaptation, um, and one of the options was, I want Capcom to conf confirm my favorite ship. And Ace Attorney 7 was the first, the highest, like, you know, voted. The second option was the ship option. People want that more than a trilogy port of 456. The trilogy port was actually last. They wanted Apollo Justice anime more. So, yeah, <laughs> that was pretty uh, interesting. Not poor Gumshoe, she's, yeah. Oh, Gumshoe. She'll be a great garnishing of teeth at his next uh, salary discussion. Wait, how often do they discuss their salaries, though? Is it like every month or something? <laughs> she keeps threatening that. In any case, this is a very big problem. When the defendant was in custody, her costume had a bullet hole in the sleeve. However, from this photo, it would appear that night after the shooting, there was none. The judge is confused by this strange twist of events. This is your chance, Phoenix. Load up. Load all you got into that save file. Save it up. Load it up. <laughs> got it. Watch this, Maya. Your Honor. There is only one logical explanation of this contradiction. The bullet hole was made later. Yeah. No? The music stopped? No! No! Oh no! I probably should reload. I really should reload. We're on a fine line here. Alright, alright, alright. It was someone else. Okay, it was someone else. There we go. There we go. Alright, fine, fine. <laughs> hey, you doing, Creon? I love seeing Emma as a major character too. Yeah, like Emma became one of my favorite characters only if you count her like future portrayals. Her, her older self when she's very jaded. <laughs> However, this person clearly does not. There can only be one explanation. The person who shot Dr. Gray was not the defendant, but a different person altogether. What? what? Uh, the jamming music. Order, order, order! If order is not restored, I will suspend, suspend this trial. I've done it before. Ow! Ah, why me? The defense. The defense's argument is a complete mess. A complete mess? I fail to see how. Please enlighten us. Hey, witness! Ah! What the heck? Is there any way to ask a gal a favor? Be quiet, you. You were the one who said it was only two of them when you entered the room. Well, you know. If you were lying, I swear my whip will be the last thing you see. Look, sis, you're getting mighty scary, so why don't we say you... What? I swear I wasn't lying or nothing. There wasn't anyone else in there. Honest. 
You see, now riddle me this, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Where did the defendant vanish to? And where is this, did this other woman appear from? Um, why is it lately all I do is cry? Well, if the person in this picture is not the defendant, then this poses two very big questions. First, where did the uh, defendant vanish to and where did the person come from? That's right, now hurry up and answer, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Come on, you can, can't fall apart here, Phoenix Wright. I can't believe that even me is calling me by my full name. <laughs> but, I mean, how am I supposed to prove something like this? Without saving the game again? <laughs> oh god, I can't wait till we uh, finish this trial bit so I can get my health back. Or do you think you don't have it in you to turn things around even now? Okay, chat. This reminds me of how in uh, Spirit of Justice and Dual Destinies, they really emphasized, oh, Phoenix, you know, turn about, you know, I'll pull a turnabout and turn this trial around. I really think they forced it a little that, like, you know, oh, I'll turn the trial around. That's my catchphrase. Like, I kind of feel it was very forced. To turn things around. To turn things around. That's right. Mia would always turn things around and change her perspective. Yeah, like, like, I don't know. I, I feel like they really forced this idea in newer games. I really think they did. I don't know if I liked it. I don't know. Phoenix. So where did this intruder appear from and where did Mia disappear to? I need to look at this situation from a different angle. Let's see, what if before we broke in, the third person was already in the room? And what if Maya had left the room somehow? If I could prove that either of these conditions were true... Let's hear what you come up with. I think what happened... Um... Before we forced our way into the channeling room... A third person had entered it. Your Honor, I would like to present some evidence. I have proof there was someone else in the room before the murder took place. I don't want to alarm you, but there may be a boogeyman or boogeyman in the house. <laughs> I, I kind of... I forgot the sound effect for a, a raid. And... <laughs> that actually kind of shocked me. I thought someone broke into my door. <laughs> I was like, holy moly. Thank you, Victorious, for the raid! Welcome! Um, I think it is the, uh, folding screen, actually. No? I think I, I, I did it wrong. I think I did it wrong. Yeah, 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 okay, okay. We gotta save, we gotta save. Wait, okay. Present another way. Think it over again. Oh, okay. Well, let's keep going, actually. Let's keep going. And what if Maya had left that room somehow? If I could prove... Wait, okay, it's the same thing. Is it? Okay, it's the same thing. All right, let me load. I need my health back. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Love the game? Yeah, the game is amazing. I love it so much. Um... Okay. So we, it's not a third person entered. Something, I, I want to do this. I'm sorry, but I can't explain it. You, you see? And the reason is quite simple, because there is no explanation. That's why. Hmm, as I thought. Another big waste of this court's time. Phoenix, you can't just give up like that. But, Mia. Are oh, we had to give up? I'm already perfect. So, of course, my conclusions are also perfect. Grr. <laughs> I think the one thing we have determined, chat, about this whole playthrough from both games, Phoenix's catchphrase is not objection. It's not hold it. It's not take that. It's grr. Okay, so it's not that option, so that's okay, that's good, fine. We didn't lose any health at least, so Maya had left the room. 
We need a Franziska smug. Yeah, I, I need to like do that better TTV, VTTV stuff. Maya had left the channeling uh, chamber at some point, and the defense can prove this. Oh, how a foolish fool makes a foolish face while dreaming foolishly foolish dreams. Maya Fay was being booked, looked after by her aunt, Morgan Fay. Okay. The chances of her leaving the crime scene is lower than the detective's salary. Ooh, that's pretty low. Anyway, let's see some evidence. Prove that from the murder until the time of arrest, the defendant had left the room. The folding screen? The defendant left the room. It's either the outfit, the key, or the folding screen. What do you think it is, chat? It's either one of those three. Like, nothing in, in the this The defendant had left- Okay, I, I think it's the folding clothes. I think it is the folding clothes. No! We can't lose any more health! No! Uh, let's load again, okay. <laughs> Alright. Alright, so it was... Maya had left the room. Alright. I'll try the folding, uh, thing. I'll try the folding thing. Oh, wait. Is it? Okay, it is the key then. It is the key. Okay, it is the key. I knew it. It's the key. Okay. I knew it. No, wait. No, no. Don't say. Don't say. Alright. Okay. Okay. It's the key. Alright. The key to everything. Okay, okay. Maya had left the room. Okay, okay. Come on. Look at the health bar. Yes. All right, there we go, there we go. <laughs> Miss Hart, do you remember this key? Um, well, I've seen it. Hey, that's the channeling chamber key, right? Before the channeling started, Maya locked the door from the inside with that. The defendant herself locked the door. Yeah, that's why we all couldn't get the door open. The key is the only one of a kind, after all. Oh, one of a kind, you say? Wait, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Yes, it looks like she's catching on. I'm afraid to ask, but... Why is that key currently in your possession? Uh-huh. <laughs> what do you mean? If Maya Fey locked herself in, then the key should have been with her. Yes, agreed. However, she did not have the key at the time of her arrest. Ah, well, ain't that a kick? So how come you're holding it? I got this as a present from a certain little girl who is not very little at the moment standing next to me. <laughs> and that little girl was nowhere near the scene of the crime. Dang. So much reloading. I do this when I play, so I can't complain. You all do it, Chad. You all reload. No one plays Ace Attorney without reloading. This means that Maya Fey must have left the room. If she had not, then I would not be holding this key you see before you. No! Well, I think there's the uh, break we needed. You know, half the time it's like I present evidence and I'm just along for the ride. I don't understand what's happening. <laughs> this picture has clearly captured the face of the murderer. However, it's this person the defendant or not. The defense is arguing that this person is not the defendant. Furthermore, as proof this key has been submitted as evidence. Miss Von Karma, how can this be? At this point in time, a verdict on a defendant, defendant's guilt is not possible. My perfect case. How is there a flaw in my perfect case? Don't you think you've won yet, Mr. Phoenix Wright? I'm a prodigy. I have never lost a case. 
Yeah, what about your dad? You know, he, he, he said that as well. And look at him now. I don't intend to lose in this uh, courtroom to a fool like you. She's mad. I don't care what I have to do, I will get my guilty verdict. That's enough. If you would like to continue, do so in the lobby. No, 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 st keep that whip away from me. <laughs> that is all, court is adjourned. Yes, we did it. Is the dad in jail though, or is the dad uh, dead? You know, executed, because you know, there is the death penalty in these games. <laughs> wow. What was- that was you, Pearly? You summoned my sis? Yes, I felt like I had no choice. Great going, Pearly. I knew you were special. Hey, Nick, did you know? Um, uh, it's not like anyone else in there could have done that. Hmm, Nick. I know you're trying to really hard and all, but... I really don't remember ever leaving that room. And I don't think the third person could have gone into that room. Yeah. Well, at least we have until tomorrow to figure things out. It's implied he died, right? In jail, pretty sure. Yeah, see, like... I, I just assume if you're guilty in Ace Attorney, you're dead. I, I, I assume that. <laughs> until specifically to told, I think you're dead in this game. <laughs> it makes the stakes higher, okay? <laughs> what happened in that room, for instance? Yeah, I'm counting on you. Ah, uh, I envy the two of you. Oh, by the way, Nick. Do you think you could take Pearly back home for me? Sure. Alright, Pearls, you ready to go buy some tickets? Huh? Uh, TikTok? <laughs> She's like T-I-C, uh, T-I-K, K-O-K. -K. What is this, uh, flossing dance that everyone's doing? <laughs> Oh yeah, I, I recently finished uh, Simpsons Season 30, and that's all Disney Plus has. They don't have Season 31 and 32. And uh, yeah, they floss. They floss. Because that was like, what, 2019 or something? When uh, Fortnite was popular? She doesn't know what a ticket is. And getting scammed by Ticketmaster and, you know... <laughs> All right, well, let's get to day two of the K, uh, the investigation then. Double save, double save, you know. <laughs> Not TikTok. Pearl has the manliest of voices, I know. I know that, uh, <laughs> that a groat spurt. She has got the deep vocal cords. Thank you so much for bringing me home, Mr. Nick. You're welcome. I had to come and look into a few things here anyway. Um, I thought about this a little. If Mystic Maya didn't kill that nice man, he, he wasn't nice. She definitely didn't. Yes, of course. But if she didn't, then someone else did, right? Um, that murderer person. Yes, Pearls, that's what a murderer is, a murderer person. <laughs> oh, I see. I wonder what's wrong. She seems sad. <laughs> Why are you sad? Stop being sad! <laughs> so, that's a lawyer's sacred treasure. Huh? I feel like it has a mysterious power- Oh wait, didn't we already do this? Yeah, we already did that, okay. <laughs> uh, talk. Her music is so, like, adorable. It suits her so perfectly. Phoenix Fortnite dancing in 837, yeah. <laughs> You know, they probably, like, were putting that in, and then they're like, oh, yeah, it's coming out two years later. Maybe take that out. What is this, uh, Fortnite that Maya is playing? Maya, stop playing Fortnite! <laughs> uh, what do you think of seeing, uh, your first trial? I was really surprised. I had never seen so many people before. Oh. Uh, and Mystic Maya looks so small and helpless. Well, Maya's already naturally short. Ooh. <laughs> What a burn, Phoenix. And then that snobby woman with the roughly clothes. Roughly? Oh, she means Francisca. She had such a bad attitude. She acted like she had already decided that Mystic Maya did it. I'm gonna tell her what I think of her tomorrow. I wouldn't miss tomorrow's trial for the whole world. Why was that woman bullying Mystic Maya? 
Bro, that, 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 that court record picture, though. <laughs> this case is making me... <laughs> well, she's the opposite of a lawyer, a prosecutor. So her job is to prove people guilty. She's a bad person. <laughs> they don't care if someone's innocent. All they care about is if they win. That, that's terrible. But, but she's really a good prosecutor with a heart on the inside, right? What, what, music? There's no one like that. All prosecutors... <laughs> you know, I never realized it, but like, it really feels like Edgeworth and Phoenix had a really bad breakup. And Phoenix is like... <laughs> he's in the, like, edgy teen emo phase post on MySpace and Tumblr. Like, crawling in my skin, music playing. Like, oh, the men are all the same. <laughs> I never realized it till now, but it really feels like a bad breakup. Uh, well, he might have become a good guy. Eventually. He? Who are you talking about, Mr. Nick? Is it that person Mr. Gmire was talking about? Mr. Edgyworth? <laughs> that face. <laughs> Wake me up inside. That was a long time ago. He's not around anymore. <laughs> it, re it really does seem like a bad breakup. He's legit super sick. Yeah, I know, he's like, he's really mad. Phoenix, stop being such a crybaby. You're like 20... How old is Phoenix? 24? You're like 24, come on. <laughs> he clashed onto this foolish pride too fiercely and died for it. Oh yeah, Edgeworth is dead. Wink, wink. <laughs> Uh oh, that's too bad. Yep, he's dead. By the way, yes, what is it? I almost forgot the voice. You wouldn't know anything about who the murderer is, would you? Why are you asking me? No, I was just thinking earlier. I, I didn't see anything. She didn't see anything, huh? Speaking of that, during the murder, where was Pearls and what was she doing? And on top of that, this key. Just where did she pick it up? When did she pick it up? Hmm. I just realized I never asked you where, what you were doing at the time of the crime. Huh? Pearls, where were you and what were you doing when the murder happened? Ah. Uh, what I was doing? Uh, I wasn't doing anything. She's really bad at lying. You can whisper to me. I won't tell anyone, I promise. Oh. Oh, our, our little liar. <laughs> lying at such an early age. Ah, oh, they, they learn so quick. I knew it. She's the one who can... Aha. Uh -huh. I guess you could see my lie, huh? Yeah, clearly. I can't lie to you, can I, Mr. Dick? So... We don't have enough evidence, do we? No. I don't think we have enough evidence, so I'm gonna move about. Just like Nanako. <laughs> they, they need like that face where someone edited uh, Nanako with the uh, killer's face. That the creepy face they have. You, you've seen it if you know, but I won't spoil if you haven't played. Training was supposed to be held today, but I guess it's already over. So I guess there's also other like acolytes, you know, running around, you know, other fate like uh, spirit channelers. It's not just Maya there. There's other people there, but they never show it. You know, imagine if in Ace Attorney 7, they actually have, you know, they make it an Unreal Engine and they have like crowds walking about. Like, you can see, like, a crowd, you know, in the background. <laughs> Adds to the vibe, you know, it's not like a one-person place. Alright, uh, let's go inside. Where is, uh, Morgan, by the way? Hmm, looks like Morgan's here too. There she is. Well, well there, speak of the devil. <laughs> what is she doing? She's taking, talking to a picture. Hmm, curious.
Bad time to drink, to drink water. Don't you see? Take a look around. Finally, my chance has come. I've waited for this day for so long. That's right. I'm talking to myself. Prepare yourself, dear Misty. What in the... Who's there? Oh, if it isn't Mr. Wright. Uh, just curious about that picture you were just looking at. Oh, today was that event, was it not, good sir? I heard you did well. Ah, oh yeah, change the subject, change the subject, okay, thank you, yep. I am terribly sorry I could not attend the trial today, please accept my apology. I had a previous engagement and I had to watch over the trainee's training today. I get the sense she doesn't want to talk about the picture. You know, it had like evil lighting and everything, you know. There are acolytes, but I bet a single one, not a single one, has spirit power. Oh, so it's like a fey thing where they only have like, you know, the uh, power. It sounds like an investigation game. I, I was always thinking uh, Ace Attorney 7 would be like, it would mix the investigation games, that part, in. I always thought it would. Because, you know, uh, yeah, like in 2011 or something, they were like, oh, you know, we would make an Ace Attorney Investigation 3 if fans wanted. And I mean, it's 10 years later, but anyway. <laughs> and that is why a lowly branch family member such as myself must do this. Okay. Have you remembered anything, anything about the murder? No, I told you everything I know already. Were you in this room the whole time? Yes, of course. I was by Mystic Maya's side the entire time. Oh yeah, because we broke into the room and then she's like, get out, I'll do the spirit severing technique and while we're calling the police. So she had some time in here. I performed the spirit severing technique and held her in my arms afterwards. Hmm, you said that yesterday as well. Did anything else happen? I would like to say more, uh, did, however that is all that occurred. Ah, uh, I was really hoping for some new information. I suppose nothing happened in the end, good sir? Sorry to have played on your hopes. Could you possibly be any more patronizing? So the students train every day? Yes, absolutely. They were given a day off the day of the murder, of course, however. AI didn't sell well enough to localize AI too. Yeah, that's that's true. And I mean, Ace Attorney Six sold really bad, yet we're getting seven. So you know, <laughs> I I don't I. The fact that if DGS DGS is coming, and DGS didn't sell well in Japan, it really didn't, and it's still coming west. I think it might be like a loss thing where uh, Capcom is like, yeah, we'll lose money on this thing, but you know, we're keeping people happy. The investigation games could come over still. I don't know, I don't know, anyway. But like, they're very unlikely though. Mr. Wright. Uh, yeah, yes, yes. Oh, wow, she got real scary real fast. How many times do I have to tell you, good sir? They are to be addressed as Mystic Maya and Mystic Pearl. Sorry, I mean Mystic Maya and Mystic Pearl. Wait, I'm sorry, but Mystic Pearl? Isn't that going a bit far? Next question, please. Oh man, she's really being a pain in the butt about this. Please remember to watch what you say, but how you say it, good sir. How? Oh, okay. Too formal, she's very formal, I don't like it. <laughs> I'm not sure localizing a game costs enough for low sales to be a loss. They just took their time. Yeah, like... I don't know how many people are going to buy DGS. I really don't. They're going to have to do some really crazy marketing from the makers of Ace Attorney. <laughs> from the makers of Resident Evil 8. <laughs> or, or they have like a Sherlock Holmes in Resident Evil 8 as like a, you know, like a thing. You know, ha has Monster Hunter World had any Ace Attorney things in it yet? Because that seems like a pretty easy way to promote it kind of thing. <laughs> written by Arthur Conan Doyle himself. <laughs> From the man who gave you the Sherlock Holmes, which gave you those movies that you liked and also the movies you didn't like and that Benedict Cumberbatch TV show that was weird. 
comes a game where you play as Phoenix Wright's ancestor. The names may sound Japanese, but don't worry. He's as American as Applepie. <laughs> so the master is um, Maya's mother, right? Mystic Misty. The Pokemon trainer, gym leader, who lost her bike to Ash, thus setting off a journey where she stalked Ash trying to get her bike back. And then they, then she left. And never to be seen again. <laughs> she is a brilliant medium. And where is she now? We're not sure. Not sure. About 16 or 17 years ago, Mystic Misty failed at channeling a certain spirit. And after that, oh, the DL6 stuff, she simply disappeared. I don't believe she will return to this village. In any case. Ah, she said village. Resident Evil Village. <laughs> I think they... And in four years' time, her name will be erased from this village. Ah. Okay. You know, that reminds me of that anime, uh, Erased. And you know what's so annoying is, like, that anime was actually really good. The ending sucked. But the... Every episode except the ending was really good. But everyone will tell you that's a bad anime because the ending was a really bad episode. Anyway. <laughs> Erased? Yeah, you know, that an the anime. <laughs> a person who has been away from the village for over 20 years is considered dead. Oh, I see. And that is four years from now for her. When that happens, a new master will be appointed to Karain Village. I can see the plan forming. I can see it. Phoenix Ancestor, wasn't that a game? Yeah, that's the game we're talking about, uh, the uh, DGS, the Great Ace Attorney. So that is getting localized and coming out this year in uh, July, I think. Mystic Maya was supposed to become the next master. However, because of this murder, I'm afraid. <laughs> oh, it's such a shame she happened to commit murder and now my daughter Pearl will be the new uh, master. I must be imagining things. I thought she was laughing to herself for a second there. Hmm. Alright, do we, uh, present things? No, no, no. Maybe that? This- this is the key to the room! That's right. But why do you have it, good sir? That, uh, I'm not telling. Return it at once! I- I can't, it's evidence after all. I think she knows how important this key is to the murder. But what is this feeling I'm getting from her? It feels... I can't describe it. Hostility? <laughs> Should we give her a gun? <laughs> that is Mr. Gamaya's costume, isn't it? It's a shame I never thought anything like that would happen to her. But we don't know it was Maya who that did it. Oh, poor Mr. Gamaya. Remember the Tales game that got rated and is yet to be seen? I mean, they have shown a rise is coming, so... <laughs> oh yeah, chat, so... What is your most anticipated game or games that's coming this year? For me, I would think it would have to be Ace of 77, obviously. Uh, Tales of Arise, Digimon Survive, Final Fantasy 16, Remake, uh, 7 Remake Part 2, if that's coming. Ah, uh, that's all I can think of the top of my head. There are more, but like, I feel like this year is going to be a 2017 again. And if you remember 2017, it had a lot of games. Like Tales of Berseria, Gravity Rush 2, Yakuza 0, Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild, Persona 5, um, Horizon Zero Dawn, uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 2. 2017 was crazy for games. I think this year is going to match that or beat it. I think it will. Resident Evil. Oh, SMT5. That's another one as well. Endwalker. That does count. That does count. I I, I can't wait for that as well because I'm like catching up to uh, FF14. Uh, Halo. <laughs> I don't know about Halo though. Probably FF16. You got a super long backlog. That Yeah. I, I honestly feel like the end of this year, I'm going to be like streaming a lot of new games. I might have to do like seven day streams a week <laughs> in November and December to like make sure I play all the games. 
There, there's going to be like a new Pokemon as well. It might be like, you know, a Gen 4 remake. Like, there's a lot that uh, could come out. Apparently, it's also Fire Emblem's anniversary this year. There might be a Fire Emblem game. There's a lot of anniversaries this year. There might be Danganronpa 4. Who knows? Who knows? Anyway. <laughs> so make sure you follow the channel for when I stream it. <laughs> Do you ever listen to anyone other than yourself? I mean, I am in a room talking to no one. <laughs> Uh, I'm talking to chat, I know. Alright, we should present these uh, photos, maybe. That is Mystic Maya before I applied the spirit severing technique. This picture, it was taken without my express permission. The anniversary was last year. Oh, wait, the FE ones. Oh, okay. That's kind of a pitiful anniversary. <laughs> I, I feel like... The Fire Emblem team have to be working on something, and the Three Houses engine was made, although very poorly, but, you know, I feel like they could even, um, they could make more. Am I Australian? Uh, yes. Yes, I am, mate. <laughs> I mean, as Australian, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, the take, it was taken without my permission. I knew allowing a person, uh, from the heartland into our country... Whoa! She's very anti-Texan. Holy moly. <laughs> oh, my eye. I wasn't very happy with FE1 port since we already have Shadow Dragon. Oh, yeah. didn't Isn't that the DS one or something? DS or something like that. They couldn't even make the speed up separated from the sound. Wow, really? Really? You do realize the Heartland is part of this country, right? <laughs> yes, this country. Japanifornia. <laughs> uh, wrong one. Same answer here? Yeah, okay. Alright, I think we are done with her, I think. Wait, maybe one more thing? There are six parts to the sacred writing. Oh, no, no, we already, um... I think we already talked about this. Yeah, yeah, alright. Alright, let's move back to the uh, walkway, I think. Shadow Dragon is a DS game. Oh, okay, yep. Yeah, it was a remake of one, yeah. Looks like there's no one here. And even though the weather is gorgeous today, oh, Phoenix loves the gorgeous weather. It's... It's raining inside my heart. Phoenix, do you have like a Tumblr or MySpace? Like, really? That is the most edgiest emo, like... Like, I'm 16, this is deep thing I've ever seen from Phoenix Wright. I don't remember him saying that. Gotta do the voice. And even though the weather is gorgeous today, it's raining inside my heart. Crawling in my skin. Starts plague. These wounds will never heal. Oh my god, Feeny! Chill on Edgeworth, seriously. It's a really old urn. There are other ash- there are ashes of a person long dead inside. It looks like something of a long history. Okay, that's not important now, I guess. The small incinerator. Alright, nothing important yet, okay. Uh, let's go. Do you think, chat with Fire Emblem, they're gonna remake another old game or make a brand new one? People were saying uh, when they had that trailer with the beta footage that there's going to be like, oh, hi, uh, Fire Emblem Warriors 2. And I'm like, uh, I don't really, I'd rather like three houses, like another, like, you know, the same engine, like kind of game. Like, I want more Fire Emblem, but like, <laughs> they're taking their time. The bedding is all laid out today too. Guess I'll leave them alone for now. Come on. Come on. Investigate it, please! Come on! Okay, what do we have to do then? 
Uh, I'm guessing we have to maybe present stuff to either Pearl or Miss uh, Morgan. Like, can we go all the way back or? Okay, sure. This case has me out of the office most of the time. I can come back tomorrow. Helping Maya should be my top priority right now. Charlie. A quite decorative- Okay, yep. Alright, nothing new with that. I think we might have to go to Detention Center. I think they'll do a remake. They'll remake. Remake an old one in some way triggers the old fans. <laughs> yeah, apparently- yeah, people don't like the Fire Emblem remakes that much. I, I would personally prefer a new Fire Emblem. Man, I've gotten over Brad breakups faster than Phoenix getting over it. He doesn't get over him for like months, I think. This game goes on for months and he doesn't get over him. <laughs> oh boy. Maya must still be in questioning. Okay, I think then we have to present something to... Okay, I might as well try then. I might as well try. Pearl's alibi. All right, let's see. Pearl. Wait, our health is still... Oh no! I should have been saving more. Our health is still... Oh no. You have to tell me what you were doing when the murder happened, okay? We... Wait, chat. I can't bring up the menu. I can't save. Oh no. Then I'll guess what happened. How does that sound? What? You can do that? You'll tell me if I guess something right, won't you? I don't think it's a game over. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I can back out. Now, when the murder was taking place, you were here, right? Uh, yeah. You were here in the winding way. Wow, you got it. So, do you think you can tell me now? I'm sorry, not yet. Man, oh man, all right. What next? What a saying, man, oh man. Okay, I think I know what you were doing there. Whoa, no, we don't know that yet. No, 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 we don't know that. Why don't we know that yet? We need to do something else then. Okay, I need to save. I need to save. I think we have to examine. Oh, examine the room. Yes, we didn't do that. We didn't do that. Okay, okay. T slide over. Yes, there we go. There is some empty space behind the folding screen. I knew I shouldn't have taken. I should have taken a look. I can. I can always count on Lotta to make things hard. Uh, hello. Is that it? Okay. Um... Okay, I guess we gotta... Present? Alright, I guess I'm presenting everything. Sure thing. Uh, just keep presenting. Maybe we have to present to Pearl, but I don't think we do. Okay. Ah, uh, yes, please, go on, I want some help. <laughs> I am really stuck. Because there's only two people to talk to. Unless, like, Pearl, I have to present something else. Like, I know I can't con confront her yet. Like, there's nothing in the winding way we can investigate yet. Present the key to Pearl. We already did that, though. Oh, wait, did we not do that? Ooh, okay. Did we not do that? No, we did it with Morgan, okay. All right. About this key, Pearls. You found it on the day of the murder. All right, so it was the key, okay. <laughs> yes. Now, or oh, yes, I mean. Now, when you found this key, it's very important where you found it. So, please tell me, Pearls, where did you find this? Um, I found it in the incinerator. The incinerator? Is she talking about the one in the garden? The door on it was a little open, so I took a peek. When was that? It was after the channeling, when everyone was in a panic. Hmm. Um, Mr. Nick? Y yes? Are you gonna tell my mother? Huh? 
You mean Morgan? Yes, if she, sh if she finds out that I was playing in the leftover trash, I'll get a spanking. Ah, gotcha. Damn, child abuse in this day and age. <laughs> Uh, the incinerator home. Sounds like a good place to search next. Alright, there we go. That one little thing. Oh my goodness, okay. Uh, let's see. Winding way. Alright, now we get the new... Okay, there we go. Hey, there's someone by the incinerator. Ooh, looks like they noticed me. And are now running at top speed towards me. Ah, no, it's her again. Why was she at the incinerator? Why is there a big purple thing over there? Hmm. Oh, hey, Huff Huff. Like, Huff Huff, you're that dentist guy. Actually, it's Phoenix Wright, attorney at law. Nice to see you again. Oh, like, real suave. So, like, my turn. It's nice to see you too. So, what's up? You're out of breath. L like, huh? L like, you mean, like, I'm just totally happy and like, totally excited to be here. Excited? Like, I mean, there are so many things to like, see. Like, you know, like, make sure you like this video. <laughs> it's like the real deal. For example, for example, like, uh, that urn over there? Do you, like, know about it? All I see is an old cracked piece of pottery. Uh, examine it or talk to it? I can talk. Is there some sort of legend connected with that urn? Like, yeah, like, this village is treasure. Huh, didn't know that. And, like, it's sealed inside that urn. Um, it? What are you talking about? Um, like, you know, Amy Faye's spirit? Amy Faye? Who's that? Like, geez, Mr. Smith, get with the program. <laughs> well, that's a reference. <laughs> Anyone knows the lady? What's founded the uh, Korean channeling technique was Mystic Amy. And what happens when you rearrange Amy? You get Mia! <laughs> I mean, I am. Uh, you don't have to get upset with me. So, like, as long as her spirit, like, lives in that urn, the spiritual power of the Faze family will stick around. Like, isn't that totally romantic? Um, romantic, huh? If that urn is really as important as she says, it could be a vital clue. I should investigate it, finally. I want you... I want to ask you about the murder. Murder? Dr. Gray's, remember, as if there's another one. Oh, that one. Like, you should have said so in the first place, teehee. So, like, I totally don't know anything because I was, like, sleeping in the side room. I didn't hear the gunshot. That's not much help. Did you notice anything at all? Like, come on, what a total bore. I, like, totally have nothing to do with this, like, murder thing. Oh, yeah. You only introduced Dr. Grey to Korean Village. No relation, sure. Even if you were only acquaintances, that still means you knew him. Furthermore, your sister who died in that accident was a nurse at his clinic. Hmm. Alright then, why don't you tell me about your sister's fatal accident? Like, why? You think, like, it's got something to do with, like, to do with the murder? I don't know yet, but I'm trying to chase down every lead I can. And there we go! Three of them have the locks. Oh boy. Psycho locks? Like, what is it? Looks like I'm gonna need something to pry her mouth open on this one. What a very colorful choice of words, Phoenix. <laughs> to pry her mouth open. Alright. So there's a spirit inside that urn. Hmm, I bet it's just, uh, all I see a bunch of cracks. But I guess maybe the spirit could live in the space between the cracks? Hmm, looks like something's written on it. I am. Huh? Weird. Sacred urn added to the court record. Alright. Let's also investigate this. A splendid garden with a small lamp. No, that's the wrong part. There we go. <laughs> How close? It's like a pixel off. 
Pearl says she found this key inside the incinerator. I guess I should take a look inside for myself. Th th this is from Maya's costume. There's blood on it. A tiny bit, but still. Ooh, here we go. Ooh. All right. So, I think we can do the psycho lock on her. Because we have to do all the uh, newspaper articles and stuff. Please tell me about the traffic accident. Huh? Like, whose accident? Your sister's accident, naturally. Oh, um, I- oh yeah. So, like, that Dr. Grey guy made my sister fall asleep. And, like, that's all I have to say about that? Hmm. Interesting. Innie just asked whose accident. Which means she must know something about another person's accident. Alright, let's change the topic then. How about you tell me about a certain other person's accident? Huh? Another person's accident? Like, you got something in mind? Oh, huh. Okay. Yeah, probably- Okay, chat, I'm gonna save and maybe if they give me a game over, I'll get health back. So, let's try it again. I'll present. So, who else had the car accident? Car accident. I don't think we know anything yet. That's so scary. She looks so creepy, Amy. Wait, how old is she? Oh, wait. I don't say. Uh, okay. I don't know if we can, but let me just save just in case. And I want to see what happens when we get game over, if they've, like, changed it. Alright. That's a demon nun if I've ever seen one. <laughs> Amy looks creepy. You aren't ready for any psycho locks? Okay. I just wanna- I wanna get my health back, so let me just present the wrong thing then. Alright, cool, okay. Come on! Oh? Besides... okay. Mr. Nick, if you push yourself anymore, your soul will shatter! Oh boy! Please calm down, collect your thoughts, and try again. Ugh, I made too many mistakes. Okay. Hopefully that should have saved us so it didn't game over. Well, that's good to know, good to know. Hopefully we should have our health back. If, it, if that's a way to cheat the system. Alright, um... What if we present... Because she was there. Wait. No? No? Okay. Um... Okay, so can we do anything here? No? Maybe we can do psycho locks with, um... Uh, we can do with, uh, Pearl? You have one health back? Really? Oh, no. I gotta survive on one health, breaking three people open? Okay, um... Your turn, maybe? I think you probably know this. Detention center? Okay, okay. I would never have thought to do that, but okay. Yep, there we go. Hey, Nick, I've been waiting. Oh, this so super sad music. She looks so helpless. So, so, how was it? How would you find out? Um, well, found a few things. Is it so bad that you can't even look me in the eye? I, I just need a little more time. It's all coming together tomorrow, I promise. Every time I see you, all I do is cause trouble. Alright. So how was it? Today's trial, I mean. You were fantastic, Nick. Every time I thought our goose was cooked, you managed to turn it all around. Like a turnabout. Hashtag. Trademark. Reserved. Copyright. I bet it would make a great Hollywood movie! I mean, there was a Japanese movie on the first game. 
and that anime adaptation, but there's no Hollywood movie. Well, if Steins Gate can get a, a TV show, a Western TV show coming out soon, can Hollywood make an Ace Attorney game? <laughs> Don't be silly. We have to concentrate on the trial. We're going to win this, Maya. Thanks a lot. Really? Hey, Nick. The person who shot Dr. Gray wasn't me, was it? Of course not. You're completely innocent. If that's true, then I'd be really happy, but... There wasn't anyone else in that room with the two of us, right? Well, did you check by the folding screen? Um, I took a quick glance, but there wasn't anyone there. Imagine the abomination. <laughs> Steins Gate is a lot more popular. What do you think on that statement? It's an anime with a visual novel that is definitely not popular. I mean, look at my the views of my video. <laughs> um, yeah, it's getting a live action TV show. I talked about it at the end of my Steins Gate video. Like, it just was announced. They, they had a 10th anniversary year last year. And they had a whole bunch of, like, stuff. And yeah, it was like a Western TV show or movie. But, like, it's Western. So, yeah, Death Note is really popular, but yeah, I know. Yeah, that's true. Would you think Steins Gate is popular or Ace Attorney? Because Steins Gate is very popular with the anime crowd and, like, Jap Japan. It's very popular in Japan. It's, like, iconic, like, in a way. And it's, like, it's, like, the second most top, like, rated uh, anime on my anime list. Like... But I know the games are not popular, like, they don't- no one plays them. In- in the West, I mean. People that watch the anime. I don't know what- what I would say. Because Ace Attorney- a lot of people have played the Ace Attorney games. Even people like big streamers and YouTubers have played Ace Attorney. They just- they rarely talk- they don't talk about it, but they have played it. Like, the objection thing is very recognizable. I don't know, that's a very good question. Because, yeah, it's a very popular anime, Steins Gate. It's, like, iconic. Huh, okay. Interesting. I never- th yeah, like, hmm, which is popular? <laughs> like, an easy one I would say is, like, Danganronpa, I would say, is more popular with the games recently. It really exploded recently, like, Danganronpa. I think a lot of the uh, Persona crowd and, like, with the whole Among Us, you know, killing your friends kind of thing, it really got it popular, like, uh, like last year. I think the anime is more popular. Yeah, the Ace Attorney anime is not good. <laughs> but I'm trying to say, like, as the franchise as a whole, that's really hard to think about. Why do you believe in me? Why do you think I didn't kill Dr. Grey? Because of something Mia told me. My sis? What did she tell you? She said that spirit mediums can't have dreams. When you're channeling, it's impossible for you to dream because your soul leaves you. <laughs> it's like the uh, Winnie the Pooh, his, like, when he like teleports up in Kingdom Hearts. Now that you mention it, wait, then I really am? You are not the real murderer. I think that maybe before you called the spirit, you were drugged. Drugged? I think this was planned from the very beginning. And you were set up to take the blame for killing Dr. Grey. That's... that's... Uh, that's horrible. I want to ask you something about Pearls. Pearly? What about her? No matter what I try, she won't answer me. I want to know what she was doing at the time of the murder. Huh? Wait, Nick, you don't think she did it, do you? No, no, nothing like that. Unless... She never did anything like that, you hear me? Never! She's this great kid, and she's really cute, and really great and cute. I didn't really think she was the murderer. I did for a second, but... <laughs> but she's definitely hiding something. Hmm. You were with her on that day, right? Yeah, the two of us, we were playing with her ball. A ball, huh? Sounds like a dead end to me. Unless... So about this ball... It's nothing really special, just a plain old ball. I mean, we got new figurines and new content for Steins Gate quite recently. 
Steins Gate, they also announced at the 10 year anniversary, they're continuing Steins Gate with a sequel. Like an actual sequel where they're like adults. I'm hyped for that. But <laughs> give me my one ship, I swear. They better get married or something. <laughs> but um, they actually are uh, making it. It's like, it's the c tagline is like God or something, something like that. But yeah, they actually are doing, working on a sequel like game. So yeah, like it's very like, yeah, anyway. When did Ace Attorney 6 comes out? It came out in uh, 2016? So it's been five years. That's that's reasonable for a game, I guess. I don't know. I think she was still playing it when they started the channeling uh, that day. Pearly really loves to play with that ball. She loves to play with that ball. Huh. When she wants to get it, she always climbs right into the clothing box. The clothing box? Yeah. Pearly's always hiding in there. You know, the side room? There's a clothing box in there. It's really big, so once you see it, I'm sure you'll know what I'm talking about. Oh, now we can investigate that. The clothing box. Ha! Well, let's go! Well, do we have to present anything else, maybe? I'm not too sure myself, but I found it inside the furnace. Zero is not the second game, Ergom. It's like an alternate timeline, but not really. It's not the sequel. Zero is not like... It's like a closed loop sort of thing. The the sequel they're saying is meant to take place after the true ending of the main game. So someone who ships the main two, I really hope. <laughs> That's not something I would know about. The trash burning. I guess you didn't notice the blood stain. Probably better that way. All right, so I guess we don't want to talk to her about it. Mystic Amy's soul is sealed inside it. Yeah, I know all about it. About how she's the founder of the Kurain technique. Ooh, look at Mr. Smarty here. Thinks he knows all. You sound like an occult fanatic. Trust me, this isn't gonna my resume <laughs> anytime soon. You know, I haven't looked at this in a long time. I wonder when it became so cracked. Huh. Alright, the photo? This is me, right? I guess I really did shoot Dr. Gray. Didn't the OVA confirm the ship? Uh, apparently the OVA is not technically canon. Oh, apparently it is, I don't know. <laughs> apparently Zero made the OVA and the movie canon, but the OVA is not really canon to the game. It's an anime original OVA. There's a lot to the Sky Steins Gate timeline. <laughs> I haven't watched the play uh, Steins Gate, you really want to make me watch it? Should watch my videos on it. <laughs> Uh, I will say the best way to get into Steins Gate is watch the anime. Watch the anime. It's my favorite anime ever. Like, easily. My favorite anime of all time. The, um... The, the game is very hard to get into because, firstly, it's like... It's very long and there's a lot of reading before you... There's, compared to Ace Attorney, there's not much gameplay. It's actually like a kinetic vision novel where you're just reading a lot. But, um... Yeah, I would say get into the anime if you can. The dub is amazing as well, if you like uh, dub as well. Oh yeah, no, no, I'm just saying in general, people should watch my videos more. <laughs> oh yeah, you know, chat, speaking of like Ace Attorney with a video, I got a comment on my Ace Attorney video where one of them was saying like, wow, I can't believe you made a full-on review on Ace Attorney when you already talked about it in your fandom video. Yeah. And I've gotten this comment before where someone was like, can you do a review of Jojo part five? And I'm like, wait, I haven't done a review of the other parts. Like what? Oh, they think the fandoms are my reviews and thoughts on the game or anime. There are a few people that think when I make a fandom video, that's me reviewing the game, not the fandom, not the community. And so people are like, oh, you're doing Ace Attorney again. Oh, okay. Like, you know, I'm like, what? I, that really like, I was like, what the hell? <laughs> I could not believe I got that comment. But that's not you. Is two. Is not. <laughs> is two, is two. I should keep this picture to myself. <laughs> All right. Um... Well, can, are we just presenting everything? I, is none of this- this is all like fluff, isn't it? It really was me, wasn't it, Nick? Okay, no, no. 
All right, I guess we should go back to the investigate the uh, box. Ram is running out of ideas. Think of it this way, I've never done an Ace Attorney video like that comedic style. So that's why I'm doing it. I've never done them. I'm finally talking about my favorite franchise. And I feel so good doing it, finally. <laughs> ah, in a Texan voice. Ah, yeah. Hey, wait, please, Lotta! Oh, we're getting to this scene from the anime. She ran off into the manor. Was it this scene? I don't remember exactly where it happened in- I don't remember. Lotta. Ah! Hey! <laughs> I'm telling you, quit following me, you hear? I'm a worthless piece of trash, you lay his eyes on me and they'll turn to dust. Let's sigh. Speaking of which, chat. I don't know if this is ever- I don't know if we passed it or like we are going to pass it, but um... How do I do this? Oh yeah. That's been my background for like a couple of years now. Anyway. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I I will say that episode of the anime, like the this part when they get to it in the anime was really funny. Because there were so many derp faces and really hilarious animation bits. Wait, is is it copyright if I watch the anime on stream? I can't, I probably shouldn't. I want to watch the anime like with everyone. I want to rewatch it like with, with I don't, I don't want to torture myself watching it by myself. I want people to watch it with me. It is copyright. God damn it. God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, uh, anyway, maybe I'll make a, a fake account and just say <laughs> that. I like them more than the fandom videos. Well, I'm glad I despise my fandom videos. So I'm glad people enjoy my newer videos. I hate my fandom videos with a passion so much. <laughs> hey, Morgan, how you doing? Yes, what is it, Tan? If you must be, it must used to be so noisy. You can stream share it over Discord. Ooh. Oh, okay. I could do that. I could just stream it on Discord. Ooh. Interesting. <gasps> oh, wait. I could do that and then make a highlight video on that. Like, you know, record my footage. And then, like, highlight it because if I'm editing it, that won't get copyright taken on YouTube. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. I'll keep that in mind. I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> all right, all right. Anyway, anyway, okay. Let's focus. That, that's, I'm, anyway, anyway. Now then, in a calm manner, I'll ask a question. Okay, anyway. Did you see Lotta come by here? Ah, that girl from the heartland. From Texas, you know. That weird place. <laughs> she really hates Texans, I swear. I'm sorry, but did, she did not pi pass by here at any time. Grr. <laughs> Grr. <laughs> ah, Phoenix, you and your girl. Damn it, I never used Discord. I I'll make sure to announce it, like, properly and stuff, like, if we ever do that, but it's, it's later, 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 later. Because the whole point is I'm re-watching the anime, which is on the games, but I just played the game, so I would remember a lot of it. Oh, and I gotta watch it dubbed. I've never watched it dubbed. I watched this. Anyway, anyway, I'm getting too excited. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> okay, nothing with her. I think we just gotta go to Lotta. We gotta catch that Texan. <laughs> That's not the Texan. All right. Side room. What's that behind the text? I'm pretty sure I saw Lotta run in this direction. But it doesn't look like she's here. Could she be hiding? Hmm? The Steel Samurai Ball? Maya said that it's always kept in the clothing box. So then, what is it doing on the floor? Bring out a stake and she'll come running. So wait, a stake, stake's the, like, Texan thing? 
Uh, it's the so if I go to like Texas, I have to have, like try the steaks or something. I wonder what's inside. Ah! What? What are you doing in there? What were you thinking? I'm a bad person, just another piece of human trash I need a hole to crawl into. So, you crawled into this clothing box because there wasn't a hole to crawl into. Oh man. Huh? There's a small hole in the clothing box. And it's about eight inches off the ground. That's the same height as the hole, hole in the folding screen. Could this... Ooh, 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 bullet hole. Finally, we investigated it. Cool. So now we know someone could hide in there. Alright, um, not you. We need to find Lotta or Pearl. There we go. There you are, you deep-voiced rap rapscallion. <laughs> Is that the word rapscallion? That's like an old-fashioned word. What person? Um, you know, the person with the uh, fluffy cotton candy hair. Ah, she means Lotta. She said, don't look at me with them eyes, but, uh, I'm not that scary, am I? Not with this voice? I don't think that's quite what she meant. Oh, that's right. She also wanted me to tell you. Going on a trip to find myself, so don't you bother finding me. Uh, oh. She's doing one of those, uh, I I'm going to find myself. And, okay. <laughs> You know, you know when one of your friends goes on one of those, uh, like, adventures? <laughs> Alright, Pearl, do you have anything new? Nope. It's time. Take that. She does have big eyes now that I'm looking at her face proportions. Yeah, she's got to have the anime cutesy moe eyes. You know, big eyes for the cutesiness. Oh my goodness, look at my health. I probably shouldn't have saved over that, actually. Wow. Okay. Alright. You were in the winding way. You were here, weren't you, Pearls, in the winding way? Alright. What were you doing in the winding way, playing with the ball? You were playing with this ball, right? Ah, that's right. How? How did you? Yes, yes. Maya told me that you love to play with your ball, and that sounds weird in this case especially. This case is very horny. <laughs> Holy moly. <laughs> yes, I was playing with my ball. I think we can confirm that the second case of Game 2 is the horniest case in the entire franchise. Can I confirm that, chat? <laughs> I was playing with my ball. Ah, uh, yeah. And then... Something happened to her, something really bad. Gulp. Wh what do you mean, something? Nothing happened. That was the wrong voice, sorry. <laughs> While you were playing with the ball, this happened. The murder happened. <laughs> Take that. This urn. It's a village treasure, right? Uh, um... Uh, the spirit of the founder of Karain Technique is sealed in there, isn't it? I mean, Ace 33 has two cases where a guy tries to white knight. Eh. Well, Nick and Edgeworth don't hook up in case two. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there are some bits in the third case. Oh, wait. No, the third case is probably the most horniest. <laughs> all right, when we get to that. What's this? It's cracked all over, isn't it? There's even a few gaps here and there. Um, please don't tease me. Pearl, you broke the sacred urn, didn't you? The ball smacked it over and knocked it over, didn't it? And if Morgan found out, she'd be really mad, huh? She doesn't seem to be fighting back. I think I hit the bullseye this time. But it's strange that the lock hasn't broken yet. Huh. It's a really old urn, isn't it? I guess? It's so old. Is it not weird to have a few cracks? Her voice is just shaking. Okay, I gotta add some shake. <laughs> How could you tell that the urn has been broken? What? Wait, what? 
Uh, do we present... Do we need, like, a piece of the puzzle? Take that. It's always Amy. It's always Amy's fault. <laughs> uh, it was Mystic Amy. Uh, that's right. So how do you spell her name? Do you know? Is it Magaggy or Magaggy? How do I spell her name? Uh, I don't know. It's spelled A-M-I, you little dumb kid. <laughs> Phoenix is like, it's spelled A, you stupid little, you know. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh yeah, the circus case is also, oh yeah, that's next, apparently. <laughs> Le gasp. I thought it was a little odd when I saw I am written on this urn. And that's, that's how I knew someone must have broken the urn. And made a mistake in spelling when they put it back together again. We did it with one sliver of health. Yay! Oh, our soul has been replenished. Half, half the bar back. Around when Mystic Maya started channeling on that day, I was playing in the winding way with my ball. And that's when you broke it? Yes, I broke it. I accidentally let Mystic Amy's spirit fly away. Don't worry, don't worry, Morgan will never know, right? I'm a bad child. Breaking a village treasure is unforgivable. I thought that maybe that would make me leave the village. But the broken pieces were pretty big, so... You thought you could put them back together like old Humpty Dumpty. Can we talk about how amazing she is able to put back a jar? That's true, like the amount of small pieces there are in a broken, like, pottery. To be able to put it back and make it physically stand and hold its own. It's pretty, pretty smart. Yes. I found some glue and brought it to the hallway. And fixed the urn there. The hallway? You mean the winding way? Yes. Ah, uh, here's that picture, the sad picture. The channeling had already started, so I didn't think anyone would walk by. Hmm, I see. So about how long... Uh, how's it wrong? <laughs> so about how long did it take you? It must have been a nasty repair job. Yes, I must be strong at spiritual things. But when it comes to arts and crafts, I'm not nearly as skilled. Pearl is big brain. <laughs> yeah, she's actually big brain. Please, the deep voice. Oh, you want more, gamer? Okay. When I finished the, uh, fixing the urn and looked up, I saw you coming into the manor. So that's around when Lotta and I were coming back inside after reporting the murder. When I saw that, I packed up everything in a hurry. Um, Mr. Nick? What is it, Pearls? I'm... I'm gonna get banished to the Shadow Realm. I really don't think that's gonna happen. You're like Morgan's, like, little angel. You know, that's not gonna happen. You can murder someone and that won't happen. I bet Mystic Amy's happy to be free from their cramped urn. Yeah, yeah, I hope so. No harm done, and happy resolution. Phew! Alright, under repair until the police came. Okay. Aha! I know why that we needed- I know why we needed to know that. Alright. So... Who do we have to present to? Are you still there? You are still there. Okay. Maybe... I think, like... We have to present, uh... Here? Maybe? Chad is always 100% horny because of me. Hey, it's the case's fault, okay? <laughs> uh... Wait. Wait, am I miss- wait, I thought she had a lock. Okay, whoops. I- I, I thought she had a lock. I'm- I'm so sorry. That was- that was okay. That was- Alright, um, we need to go back to the valley girl. Alright, uh, <laughs> Alright, what do we got? I don't know if we can, though, actually. Another accident. Hmm, no. 
Okay. I'm giving up here. I'm giving I don't think we have enough. I don't think we have enough. All right. Let's, uh, can we talk to any more? No traffic accident. Should we examine this again? No. What if we go to the side room? No. Let's go to the detention center, maybe. Save, save. All right, all right. I thought I did save. Let's save again. Um, let's go back. Aha, there we go. How you doing, Scythe? I think I found out everything I can. But I can't see how it all adds up. Hey, <laughs> whose voice is this? And is any mini being here just a coincidence? How is it that spirit, Dr. Gray, wanted to call, just happened to be that nurse? And that nurse turns out to be any sister. It's too convenient. Hey, Phoenix, I'm talking to you. I wish I had a little knew a little more about Eni, but where am I going to find info like that? Oh, I get it. You can't be bothered to look over- Oh, so it's a Texan voice. Is that it, Mr. High and Mighty? Ah, Lotta! Oh, so you finally noticed. I thought I heard a mosquito buzzing in my ear, although I couldn't understand a word. Oh. He can't understand Texan accents? Wow. Well, I gotta hand it to you. You know how to chase down garbage. I mean, I'm grateful to you for chasing this large lump of one around like this. Ah, uh, thanks. But you know, you're just wasting your time. I'll be fine on my own. What are you going on about? And as for following or chasing, whatever, what? Isn't that what you're doing? Um, well, you see? Y you're not exactly a real gentleman with a lady's heart, yeah, are ya? You're not exactly the world's number one charmer either, sister. Ooh. I guess Phoenix isn't into Texans, eh? Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, talk to her, alright. Look, I'm real dang sorry about today. When I get all fired up about something, it's impossible to stop me. You hurt Maya really badly, Lotta. Um, I don't suppose you could forgive a gal like me? Chat, what should we do? It's up to you, chat. What should we do? Forgive her or don't forgive her? Forgive or don't? One or two? We only know Phoenix has two types of people, Edgeworth and Nut. <laughs> That is two, yep. No, Phoenix is roasting, I guess that fits. Let's execute him. Don't forgive her, don't forgive her. All right, all right, we won't forgive her. I'm sorry, Lotta. You are human garbage. <laughs> I am not done. Um, and to think we trusted you, Lotta. And what did you do? You stab us in the back. You stressed us all out and even gave Maya a few strands of white hair. Ugh. Now I'm gonna have to pray she makes it, or she may become she may come back as a ghost. Ugh, that's enough. You gotta stop right there. Wow, Phoenix. <laughs> Phoenix really knows uh, how to like put it put it to someone. Everything? Yeah, you got it. Everything. But well. Actually, tell you what, I'll even do it for free. You were expecting me to pay you? <laughs> if Maya is not the real murderer, then who do you think it is, Lotta? Well, heck, ain't it obvious? It's that occult freak. You mean Innie Mini? Well, there ain't anyone else it could be, right? That granny, you and me, we were together the whole time. So, Lotta suspects Innie. Which means you might have already found some info about our mysterious Innie. Alright, so I gotta present her then, maybe? Heh, <laughs> that's Innie Mini, right? Yeah, I was wondering if you knew anything about this girl. You know, actually, I did a little checking up on her the other day. Her sister, she's the one that Dr. Grey wanted to call back from the spirit world. Yeah, I had heard as much. I had also heard that Innie was the one who introduced Dr. Grey to Kurayin Village. Why does Lotta look so off in the remaster? Maybe the person who drew her didn't like her as well. Maybe. <laughs> hey, you want me to tell you more about her? 
Yes, please? Speaking of Innie, do you have any other information about her? Hey, wait, chat. In the uh, dub, did they give Innie a Valley Girl voice? I, I don't even know. Did they give her a Valley Girl voice? <laughs> well, what is it? Ha, ha, ha. Uh, it'll cost you. It'll cost you a lot. Oh, silly me. And I thought free meant no money necessary. That girl was hospitalized about half a year ago. I love Shoei. <laughs> what if they got uh, her voice from Trials of Mana? You think we watch the anime? I don't know, you're all weebs. <laughs> I know everyone in chat's a weeb. <laughs> well, heck, you can go find that on your own. Oh, no. I know who we have to talk to. I told you, chat, this case is the perviest case in the entire franchise. I told you. They actually don't. They gave her a ditzy voice. Ah, oh, bad missed opportunity. <laughs> All right, here, I'll give you the clinic's address. Maybe you can find out something. Oh, boy. What voice am I going to do <laughs> for you? It was going to be annoying, I reckon. I didn't actually go there. Ah. Well, that's the way the gumbo spoils, right? What's... Wait, gumbo is like... Soup? What's gumbo? I've heard of that. I've heard Garfield... Like, in Garfield, it's a comic. Like, in the Garfield comic, they say gumbo. Spoiled gumbo sounds... Ew. I mean, I don't blame this... Oh, never mind. Looks like I don't have much of a choice. Better go check the hottie... The hottie clinic. Just use your regular voice. <laughs> uh, chat. Uh. Alright. I mean, we are weaves, but not gonna watch that anime. <laughs> so, this is where Innie was hospitalized half a year ago. Ah, mm hmm, yes. Are you here to visit a patient? Hmm. Ah, uh, yes. Are you a doctor here? Hmm, yes. I'm di Director Hottie. Ho ho. Ah, uh, I didn't think I'd be speaking with the director himself. Hmm, yes. So, what can I help you with? Ah, uh, hmm, ah, yeah. I like. Uh, he's very itchy, this guy. I'd like you to ask you a few questions about Miss Inny Mini. Hmm? Miss Minnie? Miss Innie Minnie? Hmm, yes, ooh, ooh, her. Huh? Ah, uh, yeah, that's too bad. I'll tell you something, that girl left a long time ago. Okay, the remastered sprite is actually creepy. Holy moly. Oh boy. Now that's nightmarish. Oh my goodness. Here you are, sir. You know, you shouldn't be up and about. Come on, it's back to the <laughs> So, the joke, I think, is is that he's a patient. Ah, sweetums, calm down, calm down. Don't be so harsh with an old man like me. Don't you dare start with that suite of things with me. If you don't behave, you'll get yourself tossed out of this hospital. Wow, I didn't think nurses could be this direct or forceful toward the boss. Come on now, be a good boy and give me direct give me the director's white lab coat. Okay, okay, I got it. I got it. Mm, yes. Um Hmm, yes, um, uh-huh. Don't hmm yes me. Who in the world are you? <laughs> so he isn't the director. He's just some creepy guy who creeps on everyone. I am Director Hearty. Hoo hoo. The nurse went off somewhere. Oh, the humanity, the inhumanity. <laughs> you, you know uh, when Ken Brockman goes, oh, the humanity. It's one of my favorite lines from The Simpsons ever. It is this guy. Uh. Well, we got to give him the old... Hmm? What's this? I'm a lawyer. Right now I'm investigating a murder. 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, what's with your angry face? Violence isn't the answer. Mm, yes. The trial is tomorrow and I would like some information from you. Mm, is that right? Well, you know, I think... Oh, was I meant to present this? Oh god, I missed some dialogue. Oh no, I missed the joke dialogue. What's that? Hmm, yes, actually. I'm not the real director. Are you kidding? Anyone with half a fly's brain knew that. Eh? What do you mean? Do I have to explain this to him? Well, hmm, hold on, I'll give you something. Real information, okay? I'm actually this clinic. See, I'm like this place. Walking Dictionpedia. You mean walking encyclopedia? Yeah, yeah, that's right. And <laughs> that's my specialty. In the young, silky smooth, hotty patient. Why is he doing that? Like, why? Is he, why, chat? Why? There's nothing I don't know about them, but I get embarrassed talking about it. Yeah. How about you keep that information to yourself? Ho ho ho. Anyway, you wanted to know about Little Miss Innie Minnie, right? Little Miss Innie Minnie? That girl, ah, I remember her especially well. Really especially, very well. Okay. So, what exactly do you treat at this clinic? Mm, yes, well, he treats all sorts of uh, doctory, clinical. Yes, uh, doctory clinical stuff. Hmm, yes, I don't know the actual particularly care detail about the details. Oh, oh. <laughs> hmm, hmm, yes, what does that look for? Ah, uh, yes, there is a big general hospital around the corner, yes. When they can't accommodate everyone, they move some of their patients here, uh-huh. You do surgeries here, right? Hmm, yes, we do some plastic surgery here, it seems, hmm. It seems. Hmm, yes, mm, uh -huh. yep, it seems that way. Okay, plastic surgery. <laughs> Please tell me what you know about any Mini. <laughs> Please stop giving me that look. Yes, I'll get to that, trust me, I will. That girl, that's right. She was transferred here from the general hospital. This was, mm, yes, a year ago. She was one of the emergency cases. What was she ill with? Ill? Nah, 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 she was injured, not ill. With my trained eye, I could see, yep, I could see it with a huge wound at that. A huge injury. Her whole body was wrapped around in bandages, bandages and her arm was in a cast. That sounds pretty severe, right? Hmm, yes, it was an accident. An accident, they're scary. Yes, mm, cars, yes. Car. You mean it was a traffic accident? Hmm, that's what gave her terrible injuries. I, swore it in, I saw it in the paper. I swore it was in the papers, hmm. I looked it up, I did. It was terrible. Mm, yes. Dare I even ask what was wrong with this old guy? <laughs> Alright, the operation. Just now you mentioned something about a big operation. Hmm? Are you talking about Miss Minnie's operation? Yes, Miss Minnie's? That's, uh, that was one heck of an accident. Hmm, yes, her whole face was burnt like a bad toast. It was very bad, very bad. Was it really that bad? It was very bad. <laughs> Mm, it was a good thing that it, Miss Innie had a picture of herself. I heard that picture is how they put her face back together. Picture? That girl, she had a... She just got in a license. She just happened to have a license photo on her. Mm, yes. Oh. So, see, I got a picture as a way to remember her. Yes, well, more like a swiped. Wait. <laughs> Wait, he swiped the driver's license? What, what? What? A pretty girl like her. I bet she has a lot of pictures of herself. Um, sure? It's a treasure. My treasure. Precious. <laughs> now that's another reference. What happened to the actual license itself? Who knows? I didn't bother to ask. Probably got burnt up with her, along with the car. Hmm, yes. Dr. Hottie's treasured possession. Oh boy, do you want this guy to come back in Ace Attorney 7 chat? So you looked up information on uh, Innie's accident, correct? Yep, yep, sure did. Mm, yes, I read every paper that covered it at the time. What kind of accident was it, do you remember? Hmm, yes, hold on. I'll get it for you, the article I mean. Huh, you have it? Well, yes, well, don't get me wrong, I thought something like this might come up, so... 
obsessive to the max, but I bet I could learn about how to stay on a lead from this guy. Ah, here we go. Hmm, yes. According to this, Miss Innie was in the passenger seat. The passenger seat, huh? And dozing, or so it says. A strong jolt woke her up, and the next minute, a sea of fire was around her. Miss Innie fought with the door, finally got it open, and somehow managed to get away. Anywho, you can read all the details in the article. Mm, yes. Alright, let's read. A new clue! I should probably read! Where is the clue gone? Hello? Oh. Alright, May 24th, late last night, two women's car two women's car crashed into the highway center divide. One of the women was not able to escape the wreckage and died at the scene. Ongoing investigation, the driver fell asleep. I was like totally tired and I dropped off to sleep. Then I was then there was a crash and like I woke up in a huge sea of flame. I was like still half asleep, but I opened the right door and got out. I don't remember anything else. If Miss Innie is to be believed, the one driving the car was her sister, Mimi. Mimi was the nurse at the Grey Surgical Clinic where 14 patients died. Is this just a mere coincidence? Okay, so that's a big clue and I think we can crack open someone's psycho locks of this. It's been half a year since Miss Innie had her surgery and got better. She was discharged sometime December last year. It's already been half a year, huh? Hmm, yes, so how was I? I was a real help, wasn't I? Hmm, yes, it was actually a very good help. Hmm, yes, thank you very much. Hmm, yes, well, then I'll get back to my room then. Tell Miss Innie I said hi, okay? Hmm, yes. It's time for me to leave too. Hmm, yes. Ah, okay, it's definitely time to leave. <laughs> I'm speaking like him. Alright. Let's go back to... Inny, mini miny, mo. Hey, so how was it? Did you go to the clinic? Yeah, I found out a few things, I guess. What's the matter? You ain't looking so well. Ah, yeah, so early, earlier the granny called the cops. Huh? The cops? Why would Morgan call the cops? You missed the flavor text? Oh no, did I? Wait, I can go back, can't I? Uh... Whoops, wrong way. WRONG WAY! This patient is undergoing rehabilitation. And look at that strained face twisting in all those ways and that- Oh wait, and that oily sweat. Mmm. His whole body is swaying back and forth. Wobble, wobble, mmm, like it's about to fall. Mmm, yes. Hey, don't just cut into my monologue like that. Wait, so how is Hottie talking to him? I thought he went back to his room. Plot hole there. Oh wait! <laughs> He's back! No! <laughs> Ah, sorry. Mm -hmm. Yes, miss. I'm um, sorry. Oh, that's great. That's great. They bring him back even though he's gone. Okay, we'll, t we'll, ex we'll investigate this. Doesn't look like anyone's at the counter. On the wall is this month's word to the wise. Do something in vain and your only reward is tiredness. Hmm, not exactly the best thing to be telling your patients, is it? Okay. <laughs> Alright, what else we got? What else we got? I wonder where that door leads to. Oh, that's the x-ray X -ray room. Mm, yes. How did you know what I was thinking? Mm, yes, well, it's because the x-ray room is... Uh, mm, yes. There's something very particular about this guy. Because I know it's not me. This must be the waiting area. It's got the feeling of one and there are sofas lined up. But I don't see all that many patients. Mm, yes, well, it's the quality, not the quantity that counts. Mm, huh. What in the world did that have to do with anything? Okay, I think we're done there, I think we're done, alright. Cool, so we got some little flavor text, luckily he came back. Alright, cool. Alright, there we go. Hottie must be really good at reading those dialogue boxes backwards. <laughs> I think I saw some fan art, I think it was either Danganronpa or Ace Attorney, where it's like the dialogue box is like physically in the world. So like they're like looking over the box kind of thing. Alright. Ah, uh, but honestly, I tell you, that granny sure got a bloomers in a knot. Well, I guess you could put it that way. It always starts out small, you know. Stealing the master's seat and controlling the village folk. And now you see where it's turned into? A murder, that's what. Yeah, what a mess. Hey, hold on. What? That stuff you were just talking about. 
That's the first I've heard of it. Huh? Really? Click the man? I I clicked the man. He, he was, uh... That was the first dialogue. Huh? Really? It's all news to everyone else in this world. Well, excuse me for not keeping up with the gossip while I'm busy saving people. You said something about stealing the master's seat. Yep. Right now, the master is this medium named Misty Fae, but... The one that was really supposed to be the master was that old granny. Ooh. Morgan was supposed to become the master. Ooh. I wonder if you get paid more if you're the master. Probably do. Do you know where Innie is, Lotta? Yeah, I saw her not too long ago. She's hanging out that garden in the middle. Oh, okay, thanks. You got something to ask her? Yeah? I got a whole list of things that only she can clear up for me. So I hear the master has always been the eldest daughter. The eldest daughter. Turns out that old brat is Misty Faye's older sister. Oh. They say the older sister is usually the one with more spiritual power. Like Mia. She can suddenly appear in anyone. <laughs> Come to think of it, Maya said the same thing a long time ago. She warned me not to take Maya, Mia's powers lightly. Well, anyway. Somehow Granny there lost to a younger sister, Misty. I see. This is like Pokemon where Misty uh, became the gym leader over her sister. <laughs> this made the townsfolk turn against us, so I hear. Which townsfolk? There are no townsfolk here. It's an empty village. She's the oldest and doesn't have the power to be the next master. Disgraceful. Wow, I had no idea. So, what would have happened had Morgan have been stronger? Maya's family would have been the Branch family, I reckon. And then this whole game case, all the cases in the first game wouldn't have happened. Because she wouldn't have gone to investigate that thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's crazy, the butterfly effect, eh? All right, what are we doing? Um, Let's move on in. Uh, Do we have to go here? No. All right, I guess it's time to break open a certain psycho psycho locks. Hey, like, I haven't seen you in a while. Yeah. I think I have enough info to unlock a secret. Like, what's with that scary look on your face? Alright, here we go. Take that. Alright, so... We know the other accident. Alright, so... The other accident... Was it this? Uh, yeah? No, did I get it wrong again? Another person's accident. Oh, wait, her one. Yeah, okay, whoops, whoops, whoops. Sorry, Chad, I'm getting back to it, okay. I want to ask you about your own car accident. Moi? Yes. So, wow, like, how strange. I have, like, no idea what you're talking about. Can you, like, prove I was in an accident? There we go. Uh, it's either that or this thing. I think it's that. Would you take a look at this? It's a newspaper article from a year ago. It says, Miss Innie Mini holds interview about crash. Ah. Uh. You suffered a very bad injury and had to be admitted to hospital, correct? L like wait. What now? That's not me. Huh? I mean, like, this person has, like, the same name, but she's totally not me. My name, Innie Mini, is, like, pretty common. What in the world are you babbling about? Yeah, you know, you know someone in the world called Innie Mini, right, chat? Like, totally, wow, what a scary coincidence. I'm, like, getting goosebumps. You think I'm gonna let you get away with that? So, like, now what? Like, do you have something that says I was hospitalized? There we go. This is your proof. Like, what's that picture supposed to mean? I got this from the hospital where you were hospitalized at. Uh-huh, so? There was a certain patient there, he's... <laughs> I like how we're even calling him a patient. He's like, there's a certain patient there, not a director. As a memento of your stay, he stole this. 
I have to say, so that guy is a patient there for half a year. Wow. That creepy fake director. <laughs> now, are you ready to tell me about the accident? Like, wait a sec. Um, okay, so like, I was in an accident, sure. But that's like, totally not related to this murder. Actually, it is. Look at this article. It says that one of the women died, correct? A and that woman who died, who do you suppose they mean? Uh, do you suppose the woman who died could be... The dead person. I believe it was your sister, Mimi Mini. Mimi. You were riding in your sister's car while she drove. The two of you together while your accident occurred, making it one and the same. Yes, we did it. Our soul is more replenished. Oh, look at it. Oh, feeling so replenished now. <laughs> yeah, I was riding... Riding in that car with my sister. <laughs> I, I believe, um... Yeah, so, chat. This is where this part in the anime was from, where she starts dabbing. <laughs> we were, like, on our way home. Oh no, the sad music. I was riding in the passenger seat when I, like, fell asleep. Pretty fancy car, to be honest. To be honest. And then it happened. At that time, I grabbed my purse and escaped from the passenger side door. And your sister? I, like, couldn't do anything. The car was full of smoke. I couldn't see anything. Oh, I'm sorry. Did Dr. Gray really cause that accident by drugging your sister with sleeping pills? Like, he was totally out to get my sister. He totally did that to, like, pay my sister back. Hmm, I wonder. This does give any this does give any a good reason to want to murder Dr. Gray. Ha ha ha, it seems simple, doesn't it? What do you mean? But it would be very hard to catch me. Actually. I'd say impossible. What? I think you get the picture. I'm going to serve you a slice of humble pie. I hope you enjoy it. Tee hee. Ha ha ha. Uh, hello? Hello? Um, wait, is that it? Do we present something else to our chat? Or, wait, is that it? Wait, are we done? I think we got everything we need, though. Oh, we can't talk to her anymore. Uh, Morgan then? Oh. She just up and vanished. Okay. Oh, there we go. Okay. Looks like something's up. Stop, stop. Leave my mother alone. Ow. Hey, hold on, pal. I, I'm not, I'm gonna get hurt. I am not gonna hurt. Pearl, dear, it is perfectly all right. I will be out for a short while with this young man. Mother, please let me go too. No, you must stay here and protect the manor. But... Oh, I don't make that face. Hey, I'll tell you what. I'll show you something cool. Here, look. It's a real pist. <laughs> Detective, do not upset me any further. Ah, uh, sorry. <laughs> Here you go, kiddo! <laughs> Poor Gumshoe, being dragged off by the ear like that by Morgan. Ow. I always see people in anime and stuff being dragged off by the ear, but like, I never had that happen to me, but that would really hurt. Mother! Oh, the mother. Mother! This has never happened before. Pearls. Mr. Nick! I have a real bad feeling about that I can't shake. I think something really bad is gonna happen. I'm scared. 
I'm really scared, Mr. Nick. Say something, Phoenix, anything. <sighs> I'm terrible at this. <laughs> okay, no option to say anything. What about, what about Mystic Maya? She'll be all right. I think I've gathered, gathered enough evidence. Mystic Maya, she must be feel all alone. Please, Mr. Nick, go visit her. Yeah, but I can't leave you here all alone either. How do you make pretzel hair like that? Uh, I guess it's like ponytail and then it just comes out and tucks back in. Maybe. I don't know. I don't have, I don't have long hair. <laughs> Me? You're asking me about long hair hairstyle? I'll be fine. Please! Wait, so she's not coming to trial with us. Okay. Her stare is really... piercing. <laughs> Alright! Where do we go now? Back here? Detention center? You kept me waiting for... <laughs> Mia, please stop! I can solve this by myself! Uh, there they are. All two of them. Oh, where? Mia! So, how are the preparations? I think I have enough evidence and the information now, I, I think. Everything will be on your shoulders tomorrow. Whether Maya is found guilty or innocent, it's a heavy weight to bear, and I will blame you for the rest of your life. I will haunt, I will go into Pearl and torture you forever. <laughs> Hmm. Oh, wait, yeah. Mia had a few psycho locks of her own. Mia, I am ready to unlock the last piece of information I need now. <laughs> Watch out for Von... <laughs> Quick, look over the shoulder. Von Karma's just sitting there in the car. Oh, I really, I really want to draw that and stuff. I really got to do that. Okay. Um, what am I doing? Present, all right. The final one. Come on, Phoenix. We don't have to be looking at things like this. We need to find out everything we can for the trial tomorrow. Wait. Wait, hang on. Okay. Sure of a game? You're making me do this again? You know something, don't you? About the real murderer, I mean. Alright, alright, cool. I was like, why didn't the game just let us automatic- Oh, because it was the last investigation. Alright, alright. Come on, Phoenix. Wait, okay, oops, sorry. There we go. Alright. Three of them. Alright, here we go. The boss battle. I guess this is Korean people wear robes so they can open up everything. <laughs> yeah, maybe maybe the Korean uh, dress code is wear very loose clothing in case some Big lady possesses you. You don't want to like. <laughs> you want it to be comfortable. <laughs> you think I'm hiding information about someone from you, isn't that right? Yes. All right then. Tell me, who do you think I'm protecting? Your sister, obviously. Hmm. Pearl? Who else would you care about? Hello? Me? Who else is she protecting? Morgan? Okay. Huh. There is no one else you want to protect like this, Mia. Huh. Well done, but... While the murder was being, murder was being committed, my aunt was outside with everyone else. Which means she already had an alibi. That's true. Show me evidence that would cast suspicion on my aunt. I misclick! No! My health! Come on, okay. The key. Yes, all right. My evidence is this black key. At the beginning of the channeling, Maya had possession of the key. And yet, somehow, it magically ended up in the incinerator in the garden. You're right. There is only one person who could have done that while I was busy calling the police. The person taking care of Maya, Morgan. What's that look mean? Your argument is too flimsy. Huh? 
When did the key find its way into the incinerator? It could have happened long after the murder happened. Long after? Someone could have found the key somewhere and dumped it in the incinerator. But that's... The prosecutor would have used something this small to shred you. Do you have something other than the key? Yes, the uh, burnt piece of clothing. This is the other piece of evidence. I already found- I found this uh, in the garden incinerator. It's the same material as Maya's costume, except for the splotch of blood. But this piece may not be from Maya's costume. But this is what Maya told me. While I was chanting, the key was inside my sleeve. And both the key and this piece of clothing were found inside the incinerator. Oh, so like they put the whole outfit in the incinerator. So that pocket that was holding the key just like survived around the key. Which means that this piece of cloth was part of Maya's costume. But when Maya was arrested, she was wearing a costume. That just means someone changed her clothes. Changed her clothes? But why? I don't know why. But there is only one person who could have done that. The one person who was taking care of Maya, my aunt. Ooh, okay. The last lock. Free the two. <laughs> They're hiding something important. Thank you. As long as you have those two pieces of evidence, you can cast suspicion on my aunt. However, however, like I said in the beginning, my aunt has an alibi. It's so weird though, they have it, they don't let you save scum uh, here. Like, I can't save here at all. Here's my final question. You don't have to present solid proof of this for me, but I want to know if my aunt is the culprit, then how did she commit the murder? How she did it, huh? I want to hear your thoughts. In order for my aunt to murder Dr. Gray, who or what did she need? No. Uh, she needed any? Yes, okay. Any mini. She's the answer to the final question. Which means that my aunt and aunt mini, uh, aunt and any mini, uh, aunt mini, <laughs> were in cahoots. They're free. <laughs> I'm sorry. This case has done stuff to me. Ah, almost full health. Nice. Wait, doesn't it refill at the trial, though? Alright, here we go. Something's been bothering me all this time. This crime is something no normal person could carry out. The person would have had to know a lot about the Fae Manor and the village itself to do this. But Morgan already has an alibi. Yes, which is why I can't figure out how it was done. We can assume that Innie was involved somehow. It doesn't refill at the trial? Oh no. But we have one big problem on our hands. A problem? With what? We don't have any motive. Why would Morgan want to kill Dr. Gray? What would she have? I mean, I know. <laughs> Come on, Phoenix. We don't really know for sure she was cooperating with Innie. Mia doesn't have a clue either, huh? Hmm. Then there is only one possibility. Huh? To think about it, Phoenix? Think, uh, think about it, Phoenix. Why would my aunt do something like this? And why would she do it in such an underhanded fashion? Hmm, because... Mother. She is the one who holds the key to this. Oh, she calls her mum mother. Alright. See ya, video gamer. Mother? Whose? Mine? Who's my mother? <laughs> Who's Phoenix's mother? Don't be silly, mine of course. Misty Faye. Mia and Maya's mother, why would she bring her up now? Now then, looks like we gathered around everything we could. All we have to do tomorrow is win. Everything will become apparent then. Right, Chief. We won't lose. Oh, we didn't have to talk about the other things? Speed run strats, alright. Uh, is it weird to call your mum mother? Yeah. I think it's, is it, I, it's like a posh way of saying mum. How, how do you call your mother, uh, chat? Do you say mother? Mum? Mommy? 
Like mummy, but you say mommy like Americans with M O M. <laughs> Madame. I say it in Portuguese. <laughs> mom, okay, yeah. I say mom as in M U M, so it's a little bit better than you Americans. <laughs> Ma. Ooh, Ma is one as well. Mother Mama depends a lot. Oh, on like the situation kind of thing. Alright. Let's get some music in here. And with that, I think this will be a good spot to end uh, today's stream. So yeah, um, hope you enjoyed that stream chat. We got through the investigation. So tomorrow we're definitely going to finish this case and probably start maybe the next case, depending how long this takes. Um, yeah. By the way, chat, um, tomorrow I will be starting a lot earlier than usual. I don't know how early, but I will be starting a lot earlier. It might be a longer stream as well, but I will be starting earlier. Um, yeah, so tomorrow's the next stream, day after as well. There's no stream on Thursday. By the way, this time next week, I will be streaming Persona 5 Strikers over on the VOD channel on YouTube, not on Twitch. So make sure you sub to that if you want uh, that stream. If you want to see that stream, uh, yeah, follow this channel if you haven't already to be notified for tomorrow. Where we'll be back for some more Ace Attorney. Can we prove Maya is innocent? Probably not. You know she's guilty. Mia will have something to, something to do with it, you know. But anyway, um, I hope you all enjoyed chat. And um, oh yeah, if you're wondering why it's on YouTube, it's because I want to get that channel monetized. Don't tell YouTube though. <laughs> Alright, see you chat. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. It'll be a little bit... It will be earlier, but I don't know how much earlier, but it'll be earlier. So, yeah. All right. Hope you have a great rest of the day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs> All right. See ya. Bye. Ooh, this investigation music. It's so... What's the word I'm looking for?